What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul. And Aquarius, uh, this is going to be your 2018 yearly predictions or messages or should I say potential energy to unfold for you. Uh, Happy New Year, Aquarius. Uh, the messages will also be for Aquarius um, Moon and Aquarius Rising. All right, so let me just begin by saying that I'm using the Cosmic Tribe Tarot to um, deliver your messages for you for the uh, 2018 yearly news cycle. And because I'm going to speak about, you know, energies related to the cards that show up on, you know, January, February, and so forth, till December 2018th again, because I concentrated on your energy, Aquarius, uh, and selected these 12 cards, any of the messages um, may unfold at any given time, okay? Also, too, as I stated in the uh, other videos, that uh, this particular deck, uh, if anyone is offended, by the way, uh, because some of the Im images or you know the characters are in the nude i apologize in advance uh but you shouldn't be because the cards were you know tastefully done anyway and this is the first time that i've been you that i've used this deck uh, i've had it for years but just never pulled it out to do it so maybe i'll use it in future readings uh especially general love readings because the images are extraordinary anyway <clears throat> three lovers cards are in this deck Okay, there's the lover's cards that depict two females that could be same sex, the lover's cards that depict two males, and then the uh, third one is a, a hetero couple. So I decided to leave all three in, or the additional two, to see what kind of energy or impact that I would, you know, would have if they should happen to show up at all in the selection for you, and if one shows up that's fine but if two or more shows up then the messages that I have been given to uh, Cancer Pisces or Taurus since they were the other zodiac signs uh, that have received the uh, two lovers cards two lovers are here for you Aquarius so when I say that they're you know, when there's two lovers card, the impact of the energy relates to, for some of you, for this upcoming 2018 uh, cycle, relationships in all aspects, matters, facets, whatever, are going to be important and may take center stage, okay? The lovers are in the upright position for you, as they've been for the other zodiac signs that I've been reading for. And interestingly enough, you're the only sign that received the double lovers card, but they're over top of each other. So that's going to be interesting uh, to see what happens. Other than that, you do have the tower, and guess what? You are the first sign that has you know received the tower in the reverse position all the other signs have received the tower in its upright position so i like that so i do feel without any doubt for some of you that i'm about to read for in terms of pulling up this energy this is my gift to you for being a loyal supporter subscriber fan what have you um it's going to turn out to be a stellar year now, Stella may be the wrong word that I'm using, but it's going to be a very opportunistic year for quite a few of you because I pay attention to January as the new year or the, you know, as the new year opens up and whatever card lands there is more information that get, you know, there's some information or more information that I can speak about. The universe or the world card starts your energy, but it's also too part of the energy um, leading into your birthday as well. So this universe for some of you, as I begin, opportunities and you know expected or unexpected coming towards Aquarius. As I've been describing, you know, the snake that shows up in the universe card, it's actually a positive type of energy. positive energy with this snake because normally the snake is associated with you know evil and and all kinds of other um 
you know, bad luck or misfortune. But this is the world card depicting the snake. And um, it is more positive than it is any. Well, there's no negativity. This is the world. It's in the upright position. So January for the year, there could be expected or unexpected opportunities coming in for you in all areas okay and like i said before aquarius just because i'm going month to month does not mean that this energy is going to unfold it could be you know more impactful if they uh unfold at that you know particular month but these cards were selected uh for you and concentrating on your energy and asking my spirits what is the potential energy for you in the 2018 or what that you have to look forward to in the 2018 uh, cycle. Okay, so this is what was selected for you. So again, opportunities um, could come your way in 2018. It lands in your birthday, so it could be opportunities showing up around your birthday. Now, there is no crossing of these cards, so I go month to month. January, I already did. World card opportunities it's in the upright so that means you're focused or you're ready to start something new um there's something that you there's some of you who are looking forward to an opportunity because it is i if you can see the eye in there okay you're looking forward to an opportunity this is a known opportunity for some of you the unexpected could come from out of the blue you weren't even, you know, focused or concentrating on something and something happens. Now, this could be business. This could be uh, family. Whatever the opportunity that presents itself, this is what's coming up for you in the month of January. Next month, Valentine's month, February, Hermit card. This is not negative either. Some of you may have to evaluate, you know, a relationship. Maybe some of you have to disconnect yourself from a relationship. Time alone. This is, uh, you know, meditation, me time, downtime. OK, but it's not it's not with another person. So a lot of you may be going through some sort of evaluation. Might be a lot of singles, might be a lot of people who are, you know, partnered or legally married and stuff. And you still need to break away from your, um, you know, significant other, regardless of the fact that it's showing up in the month of February where things are supposed to be romantic, uh, peaceful and harmon you know, harmony. Some of you need to take a break from your, uh, your partners, take a break for yourself, but that's not, not, you know, anything negative. The guy, or at least the arm or the hand that's holding the, the bright light is the, you know, moving forward is like you, if you have to take that time out or disconnect yourself from, uh, other people's energies and stuff, you come out with a clearer, brighter perspective. Okay. In the valuation phase, hermit relates to cancer. Could also relate to other water signs. Uh, Gemini, mm, cancer. <laughs> I'm saying Gemini. Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. So it could be exchanges with those energies when it comes to, you know, possible relationships. Or it doesn't have to be relationships. It could be friendships. It could be, you know, um, co-workers. It could be f family members. This is a general overall reading, not a general love reading. So... Whatever these messages or however these messages apply to you, apply it to your situation. January, opportunities. February, introspection. I need to disconnect, meditate, uh, go within. Only temporary, coming out with a clearer, brighter perspective. March now is the lover's card. The very first lover's card that I have for you. This is the two male. So it could be, you know. Love is love. Same, you know, a partnership going on and it's a development with another male, two males. Lovers is, you know, not unique to just two males because this is two females that's over, you know, underneath this. Could be business partner. Maybe two two males form a business partner and got nothing to do with romance because lovers come across as, you know, for me all the time is business. OK, but the, if it is two males that form a business or form a love relationship, so be it. But you're on the same page with that person. OK, it could be um, like minded individuals. Harmony when it comes to romance, the chemistry is right. The chemistry is there. Magnetic attraction. March. So there could be partnerships of all types forming in the month of March for some 
Aquarians that I'm reading for. And I had indicated earlier that the energy could be uh, doubly impact, you know, impactful when it comes to relationships as it takes center stage or, you know, something that becomes so important for you because of the lovers that's underneath the lovers card that's over top. Okay. But I'll get to that now. January, February, March, April, tower showing up here. It's in the reverse position. So that means that whatever comes up for you, that you're going to be in control. Things are going to be, uh, this is a card of destruction. And it's been showing up in the upright for the other signs that I have been uh, reading for. When it's in the upright, it's more powerful, but it's lessened when it's in the reverse position. So that means that you have an opportunity to, um, you know, control a situation or event or some other energy surrounding you that's all i'm going to say about this tower okay this is the um possible um avoidance aversion of a mishap or breakup towers energy april we move on to may and it's the hangman that's showing up okay again the hangman is, you know, part of that energy. Things may be, uh, seem like they're in suspense, in midair. Sitting on the fence about a situation, person, or event. Having the need to take a step back before you forge ahead when it relates to a, a situation, person, or event. Hangman in an upright position, so that could be uh, what type of energy unfolds for you in the month of May. Things are feeling like they're in suspense or you're in suspense about something, all right? Moving to uh, June now is the Empress. The Empress is showing up. There might be slow growth and expansion for some of you related to almost anything. But it's temporary. Number three represents a love triangle. So, you know, there's no growth or no expansion with that love triangle for female Aquarians that I'm reading for if it's not you directly you do a pregnancy test in the month of uh, June then the answer is going to be no this also could be the completion of someone given uh, birth whether it's an Aquarius that I'm reading for or if it's someone associated with Aquarian this inference in the reverse is the completion of someone giving birth to a child okay July now we have um the Hierophant that's showing up in the reverse so this could be a uh, completion of some sort of you know training studies Hierophant represents Taurus so whether or not there's exchanges with earth individuals Capricorn Virgo male or female doesn't really matter someone could be losing faith losing hope in a situation event or person I have to throw that in there, but this is a relationship card. This also could be an indication of completion of a relationship or a formation of a relationship since we have the double energy of the lovers. Someone could be getting married and this is the in the you know, this is the information. Someone completes a marriage or takes the relationship one step further. So I'm giving you as much information as I possibly can. We already talked about the lovers. It's you know self-explanatory, but this is falling in the month of um, August. So again, under you know over top or underneath the other lovers card. So this is where it's instrumental when it comes to the significance of uh, dealing with another person or the formation of some. This could be a friendship. This could be you know like I said. Definitely getting along well with, you know, family members, co-workers. But there's the formation of either a romantic partnership, friendship, and then a possible business partnership. Could be two females who get together and, run, you know, go into business. But they're, you know, like-minded individuals on the same page, just like the males on top. So that you have double energy here. And just by the way, the lovers are representing your energy and that energy because it's Gem Gemini, Aquarius, and then Libra. Okay? Male or female.
August may be significant for Aquarians. March may be significant for Aquarians when it comes to uh, relationships with others. Strength card follows the lover's card. Someone could be getting in a relationship with a Leo. Upright position. September. is all about you being empowered having the strength to endure to overcome anything that may come your way some of you may be feeling very powerful this might be related to positions in terms of uh, you know workplace and job and career you're forced to be reckoned with this is a card of passion Also, determination. Any upright is always pos you know, positive, okay? So, so far, it's looking very good. And if stellar was the wrong word that I use, it, it's looking pretty damn good here. All right? So, after September, we move into October, the high priestess. That's the partnership card as well. Two people. Could be a relationship that forms with, and this also could be a, a you know, platonic friendship. Um, always get differences of opinion, but also too, when it comes to relationships, it could be someone is different from you. This could be a different culture, different uh, language, religion, you know, but it's two people coming together. Intuition may be instrumental for some Aquarians in the month of September. Pay attention to your intuition. Go always go with your first gut instincts is the correct answer. There could be a difference of opinion related to a family member or partner. But it doesn't necessarily have to, um, you know, be negative. It could be positive. Different race, different culture, different uh, religion. I always get that with the high priestess. And also high priestess relates to the Pisces uh, water sign and that of cancer and Scorpio male or female September intuition differences of opinion could be a formation of a partner who's different from you with the two lovers cards that are showing up yeah relationships are going to be very very important I'm reiterating that because um, of the fact that they're together Okay, they're together. Now, whether the instrumental of the impact of relationships happen in the months that these cards are laying in, but I do feel that um, it's going to take center stage throughout the entire year. After we move out of uh, sept uh, October, we have November being in control, maintaining order. This is the card of authority, also represents fire. Aries in particular, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. I could be reading for an Aquarius who's, you know, works in law enforcement or, you know, some sort of uh, capacity. This could be a judge. This could be a police officer, CO. This could be uh, in the month of November having to deal with uh, possible legal issues. This come across as a father figure as well. So it could be I'm reading for an Aquarius whose father is a fire sign, could be an Aries. It's a card of authority, having authority, placed in a position of authority. But it's not negative because the sun is shining behind you, okay? If there's any legal issues, as I picked up with uh, the last sign that I read for, which was uh, Capricorn, if there are any legal issues, it's in your favor because the shun, sun is shining behind him. And then the judge, if it is that you have to go to court or anything like that, looks the other way. Um, and this is in favor of you. Nothing negative. All right. Emperor having control and order in the month of November on all areas or aspects of your life then we close out the year for you Aquarius with the chariot 
Can't get no better than that. Positive energy moving forward, okay? Progressing. Things progressing. You know, this is the um, purchasing of cars, uh, additional cars, um, maybe having car repairs, mi major or minor. I equate the chariot uh, with that of the star. Hopes, wishes, and dreams coming uh, fulfilled. Things that were stagnant in the past finally moving forward for you. Chariot represents cancer and other uh, water signs. Pisces, Scorpio. So whether or not you have exchanges with those energies, it doesn't really matter. Chariot is in the upright. And things are progressing and moving forward. So I like this uh, reading for you overall. Because this is not just a, this is a general overall reading potential energy to unfold for you in 2018 and uh, to say it state it again just because I went by you know month to month in terms of what could possibly potentially open up this is for you for the entire 2018 cycle okay relationships in all matters are very very or will be very very important coming up in 2018 and i like that so i hope so because you know being aquarius rising and for people who keep it um you know throwing comments oh i thought you was aquarius i thought you were a cancer well i'm a cancer sun aquarius rising and a gemini moon okay i'm a double air so this here will impact me as well being that the lovers are gemini Okay, and then representing Aquarius. So it looks like for Aquarius, um, for some of you, is going to turn out to be a magnificent year. And I hope that it does. I trust my spirits all the time. Aquarius, this is what I have for you. It's not mandatory, but please. Don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information. Happy New Year. Bring in all those opportunities or opportunities, excuse me, opportunities are waiting. There are new opportunities coming up for us. Great. I like that. Tower, you're in control. Okay. You're in control with the tower in reverse. Woo. Thank God for that. Anyway. Till I talk to you again, please be safe wherever you are uh, because the tower has been showing up. And several other videos and stuff it, on the world stage, it, it's <laughs> it's never never good. Okay, so just know that there's going to be a lot of shakeups and and things going on, uh, not only in the United States but in uh, on the international stage as well. Uh, this tower shows up uh, for the world uh, events to someone gets you know taken out of power. Um, this could be, you know, still part of the energy of uh, terrorism, bombs, explosions, bad weather, tornadoes, hurricanes, fires. That's the world stage, okay? Um, all kinds of catastrophes taking place. Buildings, high-rise buildings. But then most of this stuff, because it's in the reverse, um, if it's related to any, you know, like terrorism and stuff like that, it could be... a uh, averted or it will be averted okay so we'll just have to see what happens all right anyway this is what i have for you happy new year's aquarius till i talk to you again peace out bye